Welcome to Cost Cuisine, where I eat my way through Costco for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Caesars Kitchen Chicken Florentine with Riced Cauliflower. This is a great option for people who are maybe on a low carb or keto diet because instead of regular rice, it has riced cauliflower with spinach. I found this in the freezer section at Costco and I paid $14.79 Canadian for the entire box. This is certified gluten free and also has chicken that has been raised without the use of antibiotics. In the box, you get two trays of rice cauliflower and two trays of chicken and sauce. methods for cooking the Caesars Kitchen chicken florentine and riced cauliflower. You can either choose to cook it on your stovetop or you can use the microwave method. I think that a lot of people are looking for easy and convenient meals these days so I'm going to choose the microwave method. The microwave method is you cook the chicken and sauce for seven minutes in the microwave and the rice cauliflower for three minutes in the microwave. If you choose to use the stovetop method with a skillet, you're cooking it for about 8 to 10 minutes in the skillet with 4 tablespoons of water. Alright, so here we have it. Straight out of the microwave, we've got the chicken and sauce right here and we've got our rice cauliflower. So I'm going to put this on a plate and taste it. So I just had a few bites of the Costco Caesars Kitchen chicken florentine with riced cauliflower. And I have to say, it's actually pretty good. I was super skeptical because over the summer I had tried the uh, Caesars Kitchen lemon chicken piccata that I reviewed on my blog, costcuisine.com, and I just, I really didn't like that product. It just, it wasn't good. This, however, I would definitely eat again. It's extremely creamy, so you have to like creamy meals or creamy sauces to enjoy this. There's spinach in it, which adds some nice flavor, and you can definitely taste the spinach. Um, it's really, you know, it's salty and flavorful. The rice cauliflower is nice, let's be honest. It's not real rice, and it's not gonna totally replace rice, but it's a mild cauliflower flavor, and it's not soft or soggy, which I appreciate. My biggest problem with this product is the chicken. It's really small pieces of chicken and there's actually not much chicken in the meal. The ratio of sauce to chicken is completely off. There's too much sauce and not enough chicken. But I would eat it again, especially if I were interested in like a gluten-friendly or a low-carb meal. So let's talk nutrition. In one quarter of the package, meaning one quarter of the box, there's 180 calories, 6 grams of fat, 55 milligrams of cholesterol, 560 milligrams of sodium, 13 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugar, and 19 grams of protein. The calories and fat aren't very high. The sodium is 560 milligrams. So if you double that, which is what I have on my plate, I have two servings on my plate because I used one tray of rice cauliflower and then one tray of the chicken and sauce, that's over a thousand milligrams of sodium. So if you need to watch your sodium intake, that's something to consider. This is low carb, gluten free, but it does have dairy in it. It has milk. So if you cannot have milk products, this is probably something to skip. So overall, I enjoyed this product. I wouldn't necessarily buy it all the time or crave it all the time, but if I were wanting a meal that's low carb, gluten free, 
super easy, convenient, and microwavable, I'd probably buy it again. So I say give it a try. This concludes my review for the Costco Caesars Kitchen Chicken Florentine with Riced Cauliflower. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also check out other Costco food reviews on my blog, costcuisine.com, or you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook if you search Cost Cuisine. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because I will be eating my way through Costco for you in the future.